a todos, welcome to Suan Company Channel of YouTube. We are here again to learn how to how to deload the paint and how to do a base coat. Enjoy, bros, my friends. <laughs> Thank you. The two colors that we will use in this video tutorial are raw leather of a scale brand and orange brown of Vallejo colored model. We could have used uh, any other color to paint the base of a fabric that we will do next. But I've chosen these two colors because they are easy to handle and they grab quite well and cover perfectly. And I also like the texture of the colors and they don't satin. Additionally, these are the most uh, paint brands use. I typically use a mixture of about 70% uh, of Vallejo model color and 20% of scale color. In the future, we'll record a video tutorial about uh, the colors that I frequently use and I explain why to use this colors. Nevertheless, uh, both brands are pretty good, although I will say that as extra texture by Lejo model color I like a lot more, much more than the other one, because I think this is very, very intuitive and I also really like their paint finishing. This is pretty much, uh, therefore, I often mix both brands to complement their properties. I mean, if we add Vallejo model color to a scale color, we achieve a texture which is easier to handle. And also, we kill some inherent uh, brightness of Vallejo model color paints. Now we will see how to download the paint and how to download the brass of paint to give a base layer, logically. Here we have two colors undeloaded. Basically, we add drops of paint with a brush and mix. Now we don't look for an appropriate degree of dissolution, just look for that the, the color is well mixed. I'll add more water because it's not blending well. And now we have a little more water. Okay. Anyway, the correct degree of this solution we see now. First, we charge the brush well and making a spiral the way as an spiral as you can see on your computer this dissolution degree would be good as we look because the brush circulate well and paint at the same time maybe we could add, uh, could uh, dilute the paint less. We've seen the correct way of painting, but now let's see the wrong way. Sometimes you learn more watching this. Let's take pure orange brown, undiluted, and that this painting are not particularly that way. We catch a little paint and download the brush, and that's all. If you if you see, and I repeat that this is not particularly the most significant example. If you look, that there are strange point. It is like sand. I catch another painting to show the effect. As I say, the, this painting is a little diluted and we don't appreciate so much. But if we paint it 
uh, directly on a miniature yacht set. We will use this miniature, we'll paint a little with the diluted paint. I'll focus with the camera in a second. It seems that uh, that looks good. For giving, guys, sorry, my friends. Uh, that sometimes the camera, the camera has difficulty focusing, or I'm a little clumsy. <laughs> there, it's fine. I think so. As you can see, that we were saying is true. The painting circulates well, and. Doesn't cover a lot, but we will see below when in the second or third la layer, which we really cover. And now to see an example, I will ta take the paint and dilute it. The result is dircher, and if we paint more la layers, would be like mud. I'll take uh, a less, a less diluted paint to, to show you much better the effect. Because the truth is that you cannot see the effect perfectly on camera. And always the paint should be diluted. I'm gonna to catch a green color such as Andrea color. But obviously the first layer is not where it's most noticeable. Without diluting. I was really saying when we note and the loaded paint is when we give many layers. Anyway, I'll take the ring and if you look closely, of we've already covered the cor the surface which we paint. But once it dries and we give more layers, we actually begin to see that the paint is being like mud on the miniature and the painting begins to take effect volume which is horrible I w I'll do a little soon to what you'll say we will focus and it looks as wrinkled as if the figure were not well prepared and like it has little dots that give an appearance of a lot of dirt. That's the reason why it's so important to load the paint well and discharge the brass. Let's see now how to move the brass to make a base layer. We cut painting and load the brass as we have seen be before. We should paint with the brush body. This way we, we cover a lot of more area. I've seen before many people painting with the brush tip that is so... Uh, it's not right. Because we cover much less area and eventually uh, take longer to paint the surface and also be dirtier. Because we need to give more brush strokers. I mean, so far as possible, uh, we should always use the the brush to paint both light and shadow, as we will see in other video tutorials, to make gradients. But obviously, there are strange gaps or holes where you have to put inside the, the tip. It doesn't matter, but whenever we can, we should use the body, the brush body. This is very important, and so I remark it with a special emphasis. Now we go to the practical example and let's paint with this brown. This hand here, it is necessary to be patient with take painting. And we don't load uh, it and give a couple of pieces on the area. 
and chains if we give infinite la layers without waiting until the layer is dried. Between codes, the result is going to be undeshearable. If we see on the set, we will do a zoom with the camera. If we do this all the time, the paint trickles. If you look, there are darker and lighter areas. However, if we let it dry uh, a while and go back to the brush, the result is much more uniform. In this figure, you can see easily we return to our example, which has already dried. We're going to focus. There is more or less a dryer can comes us very very well, and um, as you can see, the color is not uniform. For that reason, there are areas darker than others. We take paint again and review the area. Remember one pass or two on the same zone and, and let try as you see and applying whenever uh, the value of the brush can be. There are areas where it is more difficult that the paint rips as you can see in wrinkles. We'll just paint with on with more paint, yeah. Um, you have or you should, sorry, to be patient. And as always, patience, please, patience, please, my friends. If you are not patient, patient is so. It's really, really difficult to paint. You should be patient enough. Again, I repeat, one more time. Again, yeah. With thin of the painting, and and rating rule usually is that with five, with five or six layers are enough to do a base layer. When we believe that the surface is uniform, an interesting trick is to give an, another layer to it. To ensure, yeah, I think so, more or less, you know what I mean, it's like a, yeah, it's a little trick, but I think it, it is really, really useful when you are, when you are painting, yeah. You can see the miniature, the miniature on your screen, and yeah, we continue. With a uh, last cape, base, sorry, layer, as you wanna name or call, sorry, the last one, I think so. Much better now, yeah. Now I will use the the dryer for example uh, here it is a zone in which it has it has not been uniform and has not been well uniform the uh, on wrinkle serum become dry yeah I think so Well, I'll soon in to go to see better. I think that looks good now. This is the end of our video. We hope you have enjoyed a lot. This really, really important technique about how to paint miniatures. Um, See you again!
please don't forget to subscribe our channel and follow in every place that we are. Thank you. Bye-bye.